Lanao del Norte is composed of two congressional districts in the province. In the second district, it's me who sits as a congressman. It's a diverse province, so majority in Lanao del Norte are Christians. But then there is a mix of various religions because of the different cultures. The people here have to be able to learn and work together uh, instead of fighting. And then that's what we've been promoting in the province, peace and unity. Because without peace and unity, then the province can't develop. The idea of that was my five-point agenda. CARES, C-A-R-E-S. So C is a community outreach. That came from my always going out into the interior barangays and seeing the living situation that they're in. A is agriculture. In Lano del Norte, we're very abundant with agriculture. We have so much space for it. R is rural development, cementing a lot of the roads where the barangays don't have access to. For example, the barangay to the school. E is education because I've seen the importance of education being a scholar myself. And then the last one, of course, is sports. Instead of being on the computer all day playing games, they can actually be out playing sports, staying away from vices, you know, being committed and passionate about something that promotes a healthy lifestyle. The one thing that separates me is probably really sports, my love for sports. I have been an athlete ever since the third grade. Come college, I was being recruited. I had a scholarship in DLSU. I played for the UAP for women's basketball. I learned how to balance my studies and training at the same time. When you are an athlete, the discipline that you learn from it, um, I feel it goes a long way. It's a bit familiar to me because I've been here, I think more than six years ago when I was my mom's chief of staff, when she was in Congress. A message, but I just want them to know, uh, reassure that what I will be doing is a continuation, of course, of the programs, the very good programs that Congressman Abdullah has been doing, and that the family, the Team Tibran Sarimaporo, has been doing for the decades of political leadership in Lano del Norte. I think being a young politician gives no excuse for slacking off. Because you're young, you're energetic. If you have a slow pace, what's your excuse for being slow? There's higher expectations in terms of what, what are they going to bring that's new to the community? How fast are they going to work for the community? It's a challenge for me and I'm ready for that because it's also something that um, I'm expecting. But for me, success aside from working, it's being able to give people, show that their lives have improved because of what you did. That for me, is it's also successful for me. Ako si Amina Kibransa de Maporo, ipadayon nato ang panaghiusa, kalambuan o kalinaw dire sa Lanao del Norte.